What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So guys, we made it home from the Reptile Expo with a bag of goodies. Now let me get inside and show you what I got. So in this bag right here, we are going to start off with my Mississippi map turtle. Now I did have one in that other turtle pond and he did end up escaping. So I decided to go ahead and get another one. Now this guy is super cute. I'm gonna put him back in the container so I can show you the other three turtles that we got. So in this container right here, we have a Northern red belly turtle. Now, once I saw how colorful his shell was, I just knew that I had to bring him home. And then it is time for the last turtle that's gonna live with these guys. Now, I've been trying to get this turtle for such a long time. This right here is a Florida Indian spotted turtle. We have one last turtle to show you. Now, this right here is our last edition. This right here is a common snapping turtle. Now these guys do get huge and he cannot live unfortunately with any other turtle. Now these three turtles plus my pink belly and my two albino red eared sliders are going to be moving into this 20 gallon right here. This 20 gallon is gonna go up on my chest of drawers. This platy tank along with my plecos are gonna get moved to my nightstand over there. And then the common snapping turtle is gonna be moving into this 10 gallon. We are now draining out about half this tank and I'm just gonna put the same water. Make sure you leave down in the comments below some name suggestions for all four of these turtles that we just picked up in today's video. And I did wanna give out a comment shout out to Lauren V9118. She did comment on that pink belly side neck video, the name Pinky. So that is the name of our brand new turtle. If you wanna be shouted out in a video, make sure you guys comment down below good names and I will go ahead and choose it. We are now filling up this 20 gallon. We're gonna need a lot more water because I wanna fill it to about right here. Last bucket we have. So it is now time for my favorite part, which is obviously scaping this tank. So we're gonna start off with a filter. Now turtles don't need a filter, but I do recommend you guys put in one just because turtles are very messy. The filter is gonna go in this back right corner. I have these three bricks, which I'm going to be adding. Now we also have a couple plants along with a piece of wood and a floating dock, which is very important. What I'm going to do is find a way to incorporate this piece of wood, maybe have these bricks hold the piece of wood. Let's figure it out. Maybe like that. This will sit over there in that corner. And then what we will do is use these little plastic plants to try and cover up this filter. I gotta wet this little suction cup. There's one, and then maybe we'll put the other one right over here. Let's get this last little piece in right there. So this right here is how the finished product looks. Now we do have a heat light on the left and a UVB on the right. Now this is super important when having turtles. I like adding a filter. They don't need one, but it does help keep the water crystal clear. Now I did go ahead and add some wood so they can get up on. I added some bricks to help them rest if they want to. And I tried covering up that filter as much as I could with these fake plants. Now I think this tank turned out absolutely amazing. So now it is time to add the brand new turtles into this tank. We are going to start off with my favorite, which is this beautiful Indian spotted turtle. We're gonna be putting them in. While we wait for him to run on in, let's add this Northern Red Belly. Again, another super pretty turtle. He's going on in. And then this last one is the Mississippi map. Now this guy has been dying to go into water. You can see, oh yeah, he just took off right there to the back. Let's now get these three add it into that other tank. So we're gonna get one, two, and three. See if I can fit them all in my hand. Yes, we can. So. Oh, there he goes. Now there is a very noticeable size difference between the old turtles and the new turtles. And if it starts to be a problem, I do have other little 10 gallons that I can separate them to. Oh, the albino's going. 
He's in. Now I am going to just let these turtles, oh, is the albino gonna go? He's thinking about it. Now this is a new environment for all of them. So it is gonna take them some getting used to, but I don't see it being an issue. And if it is, I will definitely separate the bigger turtles from the little guys. Check him out. He's like, who are you? We still have to add my common snapping turtle into his 10 gallon. Now I am thinking of the name Bowser. Let me know what you guys think about that name. We are going to be feeding him some crazy foods here. I think he's a super cool little guy. Let's watch him go in. He's going to absolutely love this little 10 gallon. Now this is plenty big for now. And once he starts getting bigger, he'll move into his own pond. Anyway, this does wrap up today's video. So I wanted to say thank you so much for watching. Please go ahead, like, share, comment, and subscribe. I will be having a ton more videos coming out and I will see you next Saturday with a brand new video. Peace out guys.